Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Friday, December 9th, 2022. Time is 12.54 p.m. Jersey time. Jersey Shore time, I might add, because that's right where I'm at. I'm down here at the in Union Beach looking at the bay. I see New York City out there. Verrazano Bridge, very uh, clear out there. Nice day, other than the fact that it's in the 40s and it's very windy down here at the water. Okay, well, we got another one of those well-trained professional heroes. You know, the kind are out there risking our lives as they protect and serve the uh, government. Oh, I forget to mention, a well-trained professional idiot out there risking our lives as she protects and serves her government. Now, she did this one on her own time, so we can't... Uh, can't hold the department responsible for that, but I think possibly vicariously we might be able to, because if she uses the department gun to do the dirty deed. Okay, so this is reported on, uh, what is see, what is this on? WFAA.com, and this came out uh, December 8th, so that's yesterday. A uh, former Dallas police officer arrested for allegedly murdering her neighbor over a necklace arrest warrant states. Imagine that. <laughs> you got to kill somebody over a necklace. There it is. You know, these stories of these bad cops and, and psychopaths never never ceases to amaze me. Uh, never ceases to amaze me, but never surprises me because I expect the worst. Okay, so let's see what happened. I only read a little part of a little like the first part of it. A former North Texas officer has been arrested for allegedly... Now, this is a female, no less, doing this. Uh, allegedly murdering her neighbor in connection to a dispute about a necklace, according to Tarrant County Judge Patricia Summers. Former Dallas police officer Catherine Lafitte, Lafitte that's L-A-F-I-T-T-E, has been charged and arrested for the murder of her neighbor, Jamarlin Clardy. Investigators say Lafitte, uh, 43 shot Clardy, 46, once in the back. Oh, shot him in the back. Well, that, I'm assuming it's a, a male. I don't know these names sometimes. Shot him in the back. Or shot the person in the back. Uh, back and once in the upper abdomen based on ah! crime scene photographs. So what happened? She shot him in the front and then he ran away and she took him out again with the with the bullet. So I would say shooting the man twice, one in the front and one in the back, is certainly an indication you wanted to kill him. So that's murder. A bond has not yet been set for Lafitte. The Dallas Police Department did not have a statement on the arrest as of Thursday afternoon. They are still working on the narrative. On August 2nd, 2022, a little after 6 p.m., the Fort Worth Police Department received a call about a shooting at 5515 Goodman Avenue, which is northwest, blah, blah, blah. When officers got to the scene, they found Clardy lying in the front yard, appearing to have been shot, according to the arrest warrant. <coughs> Clardy <coughs> was taken to a nearby house where he later, okay, so it's a male, he later died from his injuries. Gentlemen, if you're going to get in an argument with a woman over a material thing, and it's starting to escalate. Just give it to her. There's no, there's no possession, like a necklace, that's worth going to jail for, getting an altercation with, getting shot, killed in this this instance here. There's nothing. These, you know, you can always go buy another necklace. This is my throat's getting dry here. Uh, let's see. Uh, while on the scene, investigators found multiple cartridge casings near the front door of the house. The warrant says a witness and Lafitte remain on the scene to speak with detectives. Detectives talk to the witness, who police are not naming at this time, because I'm sure the gang will come after an intimidator. And go visit her when I say, you didn't see nothing. Uh, she says she was in a relationship with Clary. Well, there you go. So here we go. We got a, uh, a badge dog getting involved with a cop. A female cop. Let's call them badge dogs. We got badge dogs and uh, badge bunnies. <clears throat> so he learned the hard way of getting involved with these uh, psychopaths. According to the unnamed woman, she and Claudia had gone to the address of Goodman Avenue. According to the unnamed woman, she and Claudia, so she's friends with this uh, cop. She and Claudia had gone to the address. Uh, wait, the unnamed woman, she and Claudia had gone to the address. Oh. So the guy and his woman went to the cop's house, right? 
where Lafitte was. Okay. The week before the shooting to get a necklace allegedly taken from Clardy. So, he must have had a necklace that he gave her and took it back and she decided she wanted it. Dude, just give her the, you know, if it gets rid of her, just give her the necklace. It's, it's just, you got psycho girl, guys, you got a psycho girlfriend, whatever it takes, get rid of her. What did she want? Give it to her. Get rid of her. Not worth it. Lafitte had the necklace and had been uh, been in the apartment, uh, in the argument with Clardy for a long time about his dogs, according to the unnamed woman. While Lafitte had allegedly been texting Clardy for several days about getting the necklace back to him, the unnamed woman said Clardy believed Lafitte was playing games because the necklace was never where Lafitte claimed to have left it. Okay, so she claimed to have left it there. All right. More pieces to the puzzle. On the day of the shooting, Clardy allegedly knocked on Lafitte's door before she opened it and shot Clardy. Oh, my goodness. According to the unnamed woman. So I'm assuming the unnamed woman, I'm, I'm assuming, I don't know this for fact, she must be the new girlfriend. Uh, the, before she opened it and shot Clardy, according to the unnamed woman, Lafitte then ran away and called 911 from a nearby Oh, She's going to claim uh, she feared for her life, but unfortunately, there's a witness there, and uh, there's probably cameras too. So, anyway, it's an unfortunate thing. You know, you get involved. Just another lesson, another story about getting involved with a police officer. They have to date their own kind. They, you can't get involved with them because the problem is, as I've said a gazillion times, you don't know which one you're getting. You might get the nice guy, who, the nice police officer who doesn't, isn't violent by nature and, and doesn't want to hurt women. He likes women. He doesn't have mommy issues or daddy issues. And then you're going to get the psychopath, the one who's got anger issues. And we know a lot of these bad cops have anger issues because that, that's what gets them in trouble all the time with these excessive force lawsuits and charges. But you just don't know what you're gonna what you're gonna get. So is it worth it? You know, there's a listen. We got 320 million people in this country that are, that we know of. It's probably oh 330. There's probably uh, 400 million now with, with the border going on the way it is. That why would you? Uh, you know, this guy probably got blindsided by her uniform. And, of course, you know, the little head Captain uh, Dick Johnson takes over and steers the, takes charge of the helm and steers the boat in the wrong direction. And, anyway, the guy's dead. <clears throat> the female cop's going to go off to prison for murder. And, uh, well, we'll see how they twist the story. I'm sure she'll claim uh, self-defense and uh, he threatened to kill her and everything else. You know, the lawyers will work it. They'll spin it. The police department will help them, too. That's why they're not talking about it. They're going to figure out a way to spin the story and... Uh, who knows? Be interesting to see how that one works out. Uh, I'm sure the family will uh, sue the police department since if she's using her department gun. That'll tie her precariously to her job, and somebody will be paying again. I'm John Van Dyke from New Jersey Exposed. Until next time, people.